टुडे द टर्म ब्लैक फंगस इज बींग हर्ड अ लॉट स्पेशली इन द सेकेंड कोविड वेव नाउ वॉट इज ब्लैक फंगस इट इज अ फंगल इन्फेक्शन ऑल्सो कॉल्ड म्यूकर माइकोसिस इट इज अ बैड ड्रेडेड फंगस एंड इट हैज अ बैड आउटकम अनलेस डायग्नोज अर्ली वॉट हैपन्स इज द स्पोर्स ऑफ द फंगस दे रीच द होस्ट मोर सो इन पेशेंट्स हु आर पोस्ट कोविड और ड्यूरिंग कोविड एंड हैव डायबिटीज शुगर इज अनकोल्ड और आर इम्यूनो कॉम्प्रोमाइज फॉर सम अदर रीजन एंड वंस दे रीच द साइनसिस दे इन्वॉल्व द साइनसिस एंड द नोस एंड इफ इट इज नॉट डायग्नोज इन टाइम एंड ट्रीटमेंट स्टार्टेड इट कैन गो टू द आई एंड आई बॉल एंड ऑल्सो गो इंट्राक्रीनली एंड रीच द ब्रेन now this is a fungus which has a mortality of about 50% even with treatment so it is very important uh that we as patients understand uh, why this is being caused this is to inform you that this term black fungus or mycormycosis is caused by a particular group of fungus which belong to the family of mycorrhizaceae these fungi are normally found in the soil and in dead vegetable or animal matter which could be something as innocuous as leaves in the soil they are normally floating around but our human immune system is very very capable of fighting these infections under the normal circumstances we do not see mycormycosis infection however covid-19 has been known to attack the immune system of our bodies making it very vulnerable to small infection also especially the fact that we are dealing with a lot of people with diabetes a lot of people who are on significant amount of antiviral drugs and lot of steroids is further weakening the immune system of our body making it very prone for these spores to invade the system and cause the black fungus infection the cases were there before also it is not something new but the incidence was very low today in the second wave we are seeing a abnormally high number of patients the first reason is steroid use steroids are required for treatment of covid in a correct dose for correct time there is no doubt about that however what is happening is very high doses of steroid are being used for a long time sometimes even without medical supervision so we the public needs to be educated that if don't take steroids on your own secondly sometimes even tapering of the steroid dose is not being done then there are a lot of these patients who are diabetics and uncontrolled diabetes in a setting of covid is the perfect uh, cocktail for getting a mucor infection what are the symptoms we watch out if you have nasal symptoms like nasal discharge which may be bloody and also facial pain numbness on the face headache it can also invade the eye now the eye part basically can uh, lead to swelling in the eyes drooping of the eyes bulging of the eyes lack of movements of the eyes because of involvement of the muscles and the nerves which are coming to innervate the entire eyeball so if the entire eyeball is affected the person is not able to move the eyes up or down right or left causing double vision all these merit a ent evaluation your nose needs to be looked with the endoscope to see any pallor any blackening in the nose or the palate and in case it is there then we need to act fast we need to send a smear we need to start the antifungals the mainstay of treatment is surgery which may be if it is confined to nose may be endoscopic surgery or if it it may go to the eyeball then we may at times be able to do eye sparing surgery sometimes i may need to be taken out so our short message please be aware of this entity 
even after covid don't take it easy if you are a diabetic get your sugar controlled if any of the symptoms i mentioned get yourself examined your doctor may write a ct pns or a mri of the pns and then we can diagnose this condition early and if it is diagnosed early then treatment can be a success thank you